Hey everybody. Um, another day. Just wanted to talk about some new uh, news that just came out. Um, I've always wanted to talk about uh, collectibles on this channel, so uh, I figured this would be the best opportunity. And it seems like uh, with May Fourth uh, right around the corner, uh, Hasbro has just announced some new Star Wars Black Series figures, and these are the three month three ones that uh, I'm most excited about. Um, uh, the new Stormtroop. Uh, Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper. Uh, I think that looks really good because uh, personally, if you if you look at these old pictures of the original Black Series Stormtrooper, it looks awful. I I, I really don't. The body looks fine, and uh, I heard the articulation and everything is good, but the, I just think that that head looks terrible. But this one looks a lot better. Um, it looks like it's going to have single jointed uh, elbows and and knees, so we'll see. That might make some people mad, but I think it looks really good. Um, I was, I would like to start uh, once probably the, the whole end of the world is over, but I would like to start collecting again and get some more Star Wars figures. And I was going to start army building some stormtroopers and I was going to go with the, the SH figure arts or the, uh, uh, what's the other ones? I think it's Mafex stormtroopers, but those do get expensive. And, but now that Hasbro has finally come out with a, a good looking stormtrooper, I might just go with those instead. Um, the only uh, Star Wars figures I have are the Rogue One, Darth Vader, and the Admiral Thrawn figure. But uh, yeah, and then this uh, this Luke Skywalker looks really good. Look at some individual pictures here. I had them up somewhere. Yeah, right here. So yeah, the I think this Luke Skywalker and Yoda looks really good. The, it seems like the Yoda is going to come with a variant head where he has his eyes closed and then you go back to this one over here and he has his eyes open so and in the backpack the lightsaber i think he comes with a blaster some pretty cool accessories so I, i'm excited about that i'll definitely be picking up that luke figure and really i, I want to take some time to just point out too like these head sculpts on the new star wars black series figures have gotten so much better than when they first came out and uh, i'm really really happy with them so yeah and then the there's a new clone trooper figure too. I think that one's from the Clone Wars. That looks really cool. I love the, you know, that's something I've always really liked about the the clone troopers. Uh, this version right here is that they have uh, all these different color designs and, and markings based on their different, uh, what are they called? The uh, 501st Legions. Are they called Legions, Platoons, something, well, whatever. But yeah, I always liked how they all had like these different colors and designs to represent their different teams. And then there's a new Darth Vader coming out. Um, it looks, I already, like I said, I already have the Rogue One Darth Vader and this one looks pretty much the same. Uh, just a different color. And I think that his, this armor piece up here, piece up here is different so um the, the only thing that i don't like about the, the rogue one darth vader that i have is he looks really good but his articulation kind of sucks so i uh might be picking up a different brand like uh the sh figure arts or the uh uh maybe the mafex i think mafex does make a, a star wars figure so pretty much anything that uh um yeah it is it's anything that uh has some better articulation and that could scale with the uh, the Black Series figures. And then there's these guys here, um, the uh, Zuckus and the Forlom. The uh, these are six inch scale. Um, I don't. They're re-releases, so if you already have them, I don't think that you know you you really need to get these. But if you don't, this is a perfect opportunity to get them. I think that these are some cool looking figures. Build a good bounty hunting team. Um, and then there's a news. Carbonite Han Solo coming out. Uh, that should be cool to display that if, with a Boba Fett figure. And then, yeah, this is the other figure here. So, yeah, that's it. Um, just wanted to talk about these. Uh, I'll definitely be picking that Stormtrooper up, probably a, a lot of them, to, see, to do some army building there. And I'm excited about that. Um, I'm really, really uh, impressed with how good these Black Series figures have been getting, especially with the articulation and everything. Look at that. These, this Luke looks like he's going to have some really good articulation. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what's, uh, what else that they got going. And, uh, like I said, I'll definitely be picking these up. I believe they're also doing some kind of poll or something. I believe, uh, Hasbro is that they're going to re-release some older figures with the more photorealistic faces. So, uh, I, I don't know much about that, but, uh, you know, you guys might want to Google that and see, uh, and see, uh, you know, what's going on and what figures you'd like to, if you want to vote for any, uh, 
those other older figures get re-released so yeah like i said i'm just i'm excited for these i uh, think they look cool i'll definitely be picking these two up uh, maybe the the clone trooper too and uh yeah uh, pretty soon uh probably once uh school's over i'm almost done with school for the, the rest of my life at the end of the semester probably start doing some more stuff on this channel and i really like to start getting into reviewing more collectibles and things like that so yeah Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. Uh, all the links are on my channel and in the description below. And, uh, you know, go ahead and throw me a like, too. That really helps out. So, anyways, I uh, hope you guys are all staying safe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.